You've heard that drinking coffee before a nap can give you insane amounts of energy, or maybe you've already tried it. Either way, you want the science behind why it gives you more energy, as opposed to having a coffee or a nap by themselves. Before we dive in, take note that I've included links to the studies in the description below. Keep watching. Sleepguards.com I'm Brandon, and if you're new here and interested in getting a higher quality sleep, then head to sleepguards.com slash video to get my free video on 21 sleeping tips. A coffee nap is taking 200 milligrams of caffeine, followed by a 20 minute nap. When you wake up from that nap, it's meant to give you a bunch of energy. Here's how that works. Adenosine is a chemical in your body that slows down nerve activity. It builds up over the course of the day, and when it hits a certain point, it tells your body that it's time to sleep. Once you're asleep, adenosine begins to drop. So when you take a nap, adenosine drops. Now here's where the coffee comes in. Caffeine and adenosine compete for the same receptors in your brain. So when you're napping, because the caffeine doesn't have to compete with the adenosine for the receptors in your brain, more caffeine binds to your adenosine receptors. And boom, when you wake up, that's why you feel that extra energy boost. A study of 12 individuals found that those who consumed 200 milligrams of caffeine followed by a 15 minute nap felt 91% less sleep behind the wheel of a driving simulator for two hours compared to those who didn't have nap and caffeine. Another study showed that consuming 200 milligrams of caffeine followed by a 20 minute nap was more effective for subjective sleepiness and performance than napping plus face washing or exposure to bright light. And a 1994 study stated that the combination of a prophylactic nap and caffeine was more effective in maintaining nocturnal alertness and performance than was the nap alone. I ran into two challenges when performing this experiment for myself. One was that I wasn't able to fall asleep, and two was that I did it around 2pm. Consensus says that caffeine before 2pm is okay, but for me and my own personal biology, as a non-coffee drinker, I believe it affected my sleep later that night. If you're going to do this yourself, then I suggest trying to do this before 2pm, especially if you may be sensitive to caffeine, or you don't normally have caffeine. And for starters, take less than 200 milligrams of caffeine. The coffee nap may not work as effectively if you cannot fall asleep during the nap period, so watch my video on how to fall asleep fast. You may also be wondering if the caffeine stops you from napping, and not necessarily. Because according to studies, 20 minutes is about the time it takes for you to feel the effects of caffeine. So if you swig your coffee and then instantly hit your head to the hay and take that nap, then it's probably going to take about 20 minutes, which is the nap period time, for the caffeine to eventually hit you. If you're a dolphin chronotype, naps including the coffee nap may do you more harm than good. Watch my video on chronotypes to learn when it's the best time for you to nap, or if you should even nap at all. For more tips on getting a higher quality sleep, head to sleepguards.com slash video to get my free video on 21 sleep tips. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and watch the next video.